Let's go. All right, here we go now. Uh, go. I have nobody to introduce. Let's go. Let's go. The host has to introduce the host. Yes. With yes. Amanda. And Steve, is he there in L.A. or is he having a second cheese? I don't even know where he might I'm be. I'm chilling. I'm right here. Yeah, chill. Wide right, awake, three, ready to roll. Don't be jealous. We jealous. have three good ones today. Number one is Major League Baseball relay, replay system, which they take 20 minutes to figure it out. Mm -hmm. How about these two that they somehow did not overturn? Did anybody see this? This is Sally with Drake Turner, who got picked off first base. And somehow, some way, they said he was safe. Uh, when they did the replay, they used to put, they, uh, you're going to see it more carefully. That's David Peterson on a plate. Uh, how is he freaking not out? He hasn't touched the bag yet. Look at his hand. He's out. He is out. <laughs> and they called him safe. Oh, my God. You spent 20 minutes going to Chelsea for these umpires to make the call on the monitors, and you don't get it right. That drove me crazy. He is out at the bag. He's out. <laughs> Number two, how about the Yankees on Saturday night in game one of this series against Kansas City in the bottom of the seventh inning in a tie game? Chisholm is out! They oh. called them safe and they no, didn't overrule it. Safe. Look at that! No, he's Look safe. at that! He's out! No, he's safe. Yo, he's out! He's no. Look! I, you can't I, I, get no. any better than that! I don't see it. He's thing. out! I don't see it. <laughs> they called them safe! And then Verdugo got a two-out single and the Yankees win the game 6-5! I mean, if you are going to do the replay and spend a half hour at getting a call, get the call right with replay. I could not believe any of this, especially Chisholm, which changed the whole game. Mind-bogglingly stupid. You're up first, Steve. Let me hear. Uh, number one, I agree with you on the first. He was out, and especially since he's wearing a red glove. How you missed that? Yes, I said the base is white. The red glove is there. You can see it as clear as day. Shouldn't even need a damn replay. And by the way, the bases are bigger these days. How the hell did you miss that if you're the ump? You're absolutely right about that, doggy. The second one, I think the heel of his shoe made it, like Kimberly was pointing out. Yeah. So I don't mm -hmm. agree with you there. I yeah, think no. a better example you should have used, doggy, about problems with the officiating is what I texted you about last night. How do you miss Machado running out of line uh, on, on their second base? You know, how did you do in the, in the Dodgers-Padres game? How did you miss yeah. that? Okay, he should have been called out. He wasn't. That was a bigger miss in my estimation. No, I think this guy was safe for the Chisholm, no. was safe for the Yankees. Okay. Yeah, he's out. the heel. The heel. No, he was out. Blue eyes is blind. No, he's out. Blue eyes is blind. He's out. He don't count. He can't he's see. Out. He can't ah, see. Take a back, take back out. He's yeah. out. No. And I thought the same thing with Machado, Steve, but I guess you were allowed to run between the bags. You can establish your own line. And since mm. he was running between first and second and at home plate in first, he's allowed to do that if he stays consistent with that path. I thought okay. the same exact thing. I looked it up on ESPN with the rules thing, and that's what it said. <laughs> I had never seen that before, okay. so I wanted to make sure you and I are on the same page. Right, I number appreciate two. it. Thank you. Thanks for How about kitchen. these calls, but he's play calling? We're going to start with Buffalo here oh. on Sunday afternoon. They get the ball back at their own three-yard line with 30 seconds to go. Houston's got all three timeouts. Your first objective here, you got to get the first down. These are tough passes. 17 yards down the left sideline, that's a first and 10. And then Allen pulls a bomb. That play's not going to be freaking complete under any circumstances. No. And then it's third and 10. They haven't used any time yet. And then on third and 10, he throws the ball way down the field again and gets west and overthrows it. These coaches are absurd. And this is Cincinnati. They get the ball in overtime. He's thrown 380 yards and four or five touchdowns. And they run the ball three straight times to set up a 53-yard field goal. You got Burrow and you got to get 15 yards. You got to make it an easy kick. And then he misses the kick barely late. He misses it left because of a bad hold. I know McPherson's a big kicker, yeah, yeah. but yeah. use your freaking noodle. McDermott, noodle, you got to get a first down there. Forget about trying to score. You got to run the ball once or twice, make him use a couple of timeouts, and a third and three, you got to pass the ball, get the first down, and play for overtime. And if you're Zach Taylor, you got Burrow that was making $50 million a year. You got Chase and you got Higgins. You got to have a little more confidence. You've scored 38 points in the game. Burrow. You got to have a little more confidence and hand the ball off three straight times to get three yards. And you're settling. I know these kickers are great, but it is a 53 yarder. Horrendous offensive coordinating and play calling at the end of those two games, and both teams lost. One you go first. I'm going to say the McDermott, I agree with you. And here's why. It wasn't like Josh Allen had played well mm -hmm. to that point. He had struggled all day. This was not one of his, you know, he's hot type performance. He's just riding the hot hand. They had struggled offensively. It would have been better to play for overtime, like you said, run the ball, make the Houston user three timeouts punt it deep, and then go, right? Leave, leave them no clock. The way that you did it, you kept them in the game. 
I can understand hey, you're going for the win, but not not when your quarterback is as cold as he's been all season. The, the, he didn't have that type of day. The opposite is true with the Bengals game. That Bengals-Ravens game that I covered, Joe Burrow threw five touchdowns. Right. He was hot. And after the game, players said we were too conservative. I wish right. we had been more aggressive. Have to be. Yeah. Jeez, how about you, Stevie? Your thoughts on both? Stevie. Uh, McDermott, there's no excuse for what he did. He openly admits that. You need to run the ball, throw three passing plays. Clock is working on your side. Idiotic decision on his part. No excuse. Obviously, you're going to have Bills Mafia pointing the finger at him. He'll have a rough week. In the case of Zach Taylor, I will say this. I think there needs to be an official investigation oh, by geez. the Cincinnati Bengals organization <laughs> to find is. out what the hell is he doing in the offseason. They are never prepared at the start of the season. As the season wanes, October, especially November and December, and obviously he's been to a Super Bowl and back-to-back -back AFC Championship games, he knows a thing or two about what he's doing as the season wanes. But in the month of September and early October, he has been an unmitigated disaster as a head coach. What the hell is he doing in the offseason and in training camp and the preseason to prepare his team to play during the regular season, the first month, first five weeks of the regular season. Religiously, they're bad. He's asleep at the wheel at the beginning. All right, number three, speaking of clock management, and I had the Saints in a big call at you got <laughs> there we go. Rob, so I was there annoyed. There we go. I mean, it's 13-7 late in the first half, okay? They have the ball with about a minute 45 to go, and the Chiefs have their timeouts. This is a first and 10 play. He throws a deep bomb down the left sideline that's got no chance to be completed. So all of a sudden, it's first and second and 10. Then he throws a little three-yard pass play, which obviously does nothing, and the Chiefs call their first timeout. And so it's third and seven, a minute and 14 to go and a half, and then he throws a little screen, and it gets stopped there too. So what happens? He's got a punt. And what do you do? Kansas City's got a minute left with two timeouts, and they got Mahomes, and they kick a field goal. So all of a sudden, instead of 13-7, it's 16-7. What are you doing, for Kubiak, and the freaking Dennis Allen and Carr? What are you doing? Your first objective there is to make sure that he don't get the ball back. He's phenomenal. <laughs> Mahomes doesn't touch it. Plus, remember, the Chiefs got the ball start of the third quarter. Right. So you can't get a double whammy. So as a result, you have to make sure you get the first down. Then you worry about scoring. He throws a bomb incomplete, two short passes that got no chance on second and third and long, and they got a punt, and then Mahomes does what Mahomes always does. And I'm sitting there, and I lose the game with my bet, and it was my a huge Thank you. There it is. You. There it is, you. There I had it is the day ladies before and gentlemen. But that is ridiculous. Get the first down. Then you worry about scoring. If I can figure it out in my pajamas with a cookie, <laughs> you can figure it out on the sideline. <laughs> my God. My bet. Am I right or wrong? Your money, your, 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 his money hurts him. His money hurts him. I think they went conservative on the two pass plays, trying to keep because he he thought both flat passes were going to get complete. Right. So you're going to get you're going to get you're going to keep but running. But second and long, you're I not going to get the first down. But now. you know, Spagnuolo likes to bring blitzes. They're trying to pop one, make some happen. I thought the first throw to your point. It was a shot, though, but the safety was over the top. I'm not sure what Carr saw to want to go do it. It didn't look like a, like a, like a bullet for the whole throw, so I'm You're not really sure what that was looking for. Like my bet. My like bet. That, no, my bet, my bet nothing hurts you say is going to My bet hurts <laughs> out. I guarantee you, if I had the Chiefs, I would not be using this. Exactly. 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 Stephen A., your thoughts on what New Orleans did in the I first agree half? With you. I agree with you, Doggy, but for different reasons. You can dissect uh, the minutia of the decision-making. I'm saying that I'm seeing too many people going against Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs, and the mentality doesn't seem to be to win. Let's stay yeah. in it. Let's stay close, and then, yeah. you know, let's see what happens. 1,000. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. That's what they seem to want to do. Let's see what happens, as opposed to going out there and being aggressive and trying to put Kansas City in a hole. I don't see enough of that going on thus far this season. I was going to do a fourth one. Missouri, what a disastrous oh. performance at Texas A&M. Oh, oh. Sixth in the country. Really? Money. Really? Money. Remember when I laughed yes, about yes, that, doggy? Yes, yes, Remember yes, when yes. I laughed? 34 nothing. I had Missouri, and the game was over at the half. <laughs> yeah, I had a money line. You got it, Missouri. <laughs> so when you get, I get a bet wrong, you're going to hear from me. <laughs> <laughs>